Uh, so freshwater and coastal ecosystems are threatened. How does that affect us in the short as well as long run? What kind of challenges are we facing? Yeah, both freshwater and coastal ecosystems are threatened by water pollution, water pollution coming from our wastewater systems, runoff from our cities, from our farms, from our factories. And of course that threatens our health, it threatens what we eat from the natural ecosystem like fisheries and shellfish and that sort of thing. But then in the longer term it's threatening the ecosystem services that we depend upon. It's putting at threat the resilience of the natural system to be able to cope with the pressures of climate change and growing population. Great. So not everyone is familiar with the term sick water. What is it? <laughs> yeah, the term sick water is, is really a question. We're asking uh, a question, a discussion. Is water, wastewater, and polluted water, is it a liability or is it an asset? Is it something that we can use? In fact, wastewater is probably the wrong word. It's not waste. Uh, and so we're asking that question. Does it need to be sick? Does it need to create problems for us, or can we use it to our advantage? And what about health benefits from wise, uh, wastewater management? We all know that uh, many hospital beds around the world, in fact over 50% in the developing world, are filled with water, uh, people with waterborne diseases. And these diseases stem from unsanitary and unsustainable wastewater management practices. It has a direct impact. And then, of course, there's the impact on fisheries. And uh, nobody likes to eat shellfish that will make them sick, uh, whether it's hepatitis uh, or paralytic shellfish poisoning. These are things that can affect us immediately. And then, of course, the, just the general health of the environment reflects on our health. If, uh, if we're living in a healthy environment, that equals a healthy need. Um, what, we're, what we're really pushing for is a revolution in the way we deal with wastewater management. For too long we focused on purely on water supply and, and sanitation in the, in the form of taps and toilets. But we need to finish the cycle. We need to say once we've used the water, how do we treat it? What do we do with it? We need to ask governments, do you have the political will to do it? Do you have the capacity to do it right? And do you have the resources to do it right now? And that's what we need governments to really address in a sustained way. Okay. Thank you, David.